In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import and export your theme options for your Buddy Boss theme. So to get where I'm at, go to Buddy Boss theme options, import, export. Now let me explain a couple scenarios where you might want to do this. So one is maybe you have a staging site and a live site. And let's say you've been doing a lot of work on the staging site and then you want to import all those color options to your live site. That's one example. Or maybe another example is that you have a live site and you want to make a local development site that's similar to test some stuff and you might want to copy the color color settings. So it's actually very easy to do and I'm going to show you how. In order to make it easy to illustrate this to you, I set up a second site that has a very obvious custom color scheme, which of course looks totally unlike this first site. So let's go ahead and we're going to take the colors from here and put them into here. And for this to work, of course, both sites need to be running the Buddy Boss theme. So in here, let's go to the back end and we'll go to Buddy Boss, theme options, import, export. This is the same uh, section around here. So from here, we can, we have a couple options. So one is copy export URL, so we can copy it and then come back here. It tells you, please click reset all at the top before doing an import. So let's do that and click save changes. That's just gonna erase all the options that were here just to make sure it's fresh. Um, and of course, obvious warning, don't do this unless you really want to because it's going to erase all your color options. And then we're gonna go back to import export and we're gonna say import from URL. So let's run that. And it grabbed it from this URL. Let's see what happened. It worked. So there might be some scenarios where this doesn't work. And if not, we can do this other method, which I'm going to show you in a sec. First, let me click reset all. Let's see if that worked. And it did. And then we're going to come back to our source site. And we're going to say copy data. So I'm going to copy that. And then here I can say import from file and you paste the data in. So this for sure will work because this is all the data sets. So we're gonna click import, save changes, and that worked as well. You have two different options. You can also click uh, download data file. All that's really gonna do is download a file that has this data in it. So yeah, you have two different options. One or the other should always work.